Not without reason do scholars identify the Greek Helios, Assyrian Shamash, or Egyptian god Ra with the solar orb. Can it be doubted that Helios radiating light from his brow and mounted on a fiery chariot is our sun? That Helios became the Greek word for the solar orb is beyond dispute. In Egypt, countless hymns to the god Ra extol him as the divine power opening the day. The lords of all lands praise Ra when he rises at the beginning of each day. Ra is the great light who shines in the heavens. Thou art glorious by reason and thy splendors. Ra, who art there in the heavens, the giver of light. Such imagery would seem to leave no question as to the god's solar character. Yet, according to David Talbot of the Thunderbolts Project, if the preceding analysis of the Great Father is correct, Ra, or Atal, is not the solar orb but the planet Saturn. The golden age of Ra was the age of An, Yama, or Kronos to the Greeks. One thus finds an interest of Egyptian Astrakhan in the first century BC, cited by Franz Boll. The Astrakhan identifies the planet Saturn as the great god Ra. Taken alone, this identification, as cited in Talbot's masterpiece, the Saturn myth, could only appear as a very late anomaly divorced from any solid tradition. But many scholars notice that among the Greeks and Latins, there prevailed a mysterious confusion of the sun, Greek Helios, Latin Sol, with the outermost planet. Therefore, the expression Star of Helios or Star of Sol was applied to planet Saturn, according to David Talbot. It's unmistakable. Though the Greek Kronos was the Latin Saturn, Nonus gives Kronos as the Arab name of the sun, Hyginus, enlisting the planets. Names first Jupiter, then the planet of Sol, others say of Saturn. Why was the planet most distant from the sun called both Sun and Saturn, you have to wonder. Concerning the confusion of the Sun and Saturn among classical writers, a simple explanation was offered when the Greek name Helios so closely resembles the Greek transliteration of the Phoenician El that classical authors confused the two gods. That was, since El is the Greek Kronos and is so translated by Philo, Kronos Saturn came to be confused with Helios, the Sun. Yet, as noted by scores of authors that the identification is more widespread than generally acknowledged and is much more than a misunderstanding of names. The confusion is also far older than Philo, who lived in the first century of the Christian era. In the eponymus of Plato, there is an enumeration of the planets, which, as customarily translated, and tells this unstartling statement. There remain then three stars, one of which is preeminent among them for slowness, and some call him after Kronos. Yet the original reading is not Kronos, but Helios, which is to say that Plato gave the name Helios to Saturn, but copyists who could not believe that Helios was anything other than the sun, corrected the reading to Kronos. Moreover, this practice of correcting the name Helios to Kronos was not uncommon among later copyists. 